Welcome to Crime Chronicles, where we dive deep into the dark and gripping world of real-life crime. Each week, we explore the shocking details, the unsolved mysteries, and the criminal minds behind some of the most infamous cases. Stay tuned, and let's uncover the truth together. One of the most heinous crimes in present society is human trafficking. It involves using individuals for forced labor or commercial sexual exploitation with personal and financial benefits. In this crime, the trafficker threatens, manipulates, and uses physical harm to maintain control over the victim. Unfortunately, Miami-Dade County in Florida has emerged as one of the major hotspots for human trafficking in the United States due to its geographical location, diversified population, and thriving tourism sector. Recently, a case involving a woman named Maria Duarte, accused of trafficking a 15-year-old girl in Kendall, Florida, highlighted the troubling persistence of human trafficking in the area. Maria Duarte's case stands out for the shocking allegations against her. As a licensed psychologist, she was entrusted with the mental well-being of her patients, many of whom were likely vulnerable individuals. Psychologist, I'm a PhD. I will lose my license and my life. I need help. I've never even touched that girl, kissed her. The facts alleged in here are terrible facts. However, she was accused of participating in the very crime she was expected to prevent, human trafficking. In September, the court ruled her incompetent to stand trial, meaning she was found mentally unfit to participate in her defense. This suggests Duarte may have significant mental health issues that must be addressed before the case can proceed. Despite this, the seriousness of the crime she is accused of cannot be downplayed. Human trafficking cases often involve organized criminal networks that exploit minors and vulnerable populations for financial gain, forcing them into prostitution, manual labor, or other forms of exploitation. Whether Duarte acted alone or as part of a larger trafficking network remains to be determined. Regardless, her alleged actions have shocked the local community, especially those familiar with her role as a psychologist. Miami-Dade's reputation as a hub for human trafficking is not new. The region's large immigrant population, status as a tourist destination and proximity to the Caribbean and Latin America make it attractive to traffickers. Victims of trafficking in Miami-Dade often come from vulnerable backgrounds, including undocumented immigrants, runaways, or individuals suffering from poverty or abuse. Many victims are lured with promises of legitimate jobs or relationships only to find themselves trapped in dangerous and exploitative situations. Traffickers often use psychological manipulation, fear, and drugs to control minors. The fact that human trafficking thrives in such a cosmopolitan area as Miami-Dade highlights how deeply rooted this crime is in both global and local economies. Human trafficking is a complex crime that takes many forms, usually divided into labor trafficking and sex trafficking. Labor trafficking involves forcing individuals to work under illegal conditions, often without pay, and under the threat of violence or punishment. Sex trafficking involves forcing individuals into prostitution or other sexual services against their will. In the U.S., sex trafficking, especially involving minors, is more frequently reported. Victims are often kept in horrific conditions, deprived of their basic human rights, and constantly monitored to prevent escape. They may be physically abused, denied medical care, and psychologically manipulated into compliance. Many victims are too afraid to seek help, fearing arrest or deportation. Local and national law enforcement agencies have stepped up their efforts to fight human trafficking in Miami-Dade. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Human Trafficking Task Force works with federal and local authorities to investigate and prosecute traffickers. The Miami-Dade Police Department's Human Trafficking Unit also investigates cases and trains officers to recognize the signs of trafficking. These efforts, combined with cooperation from nonprofits and government agencies, aim to protect victims and prosecute traffickers. At the national level, agencies like the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Justice work with local law enforcement to dismantle trafficking networks. Miami-Dade has been a major focus of these efforts. Florida has also passed laws strengthening penalties for traffickers and providing more resources to victims. Additionally, hospitality staff in Florida are now required to undergo training to recognize trafficking victims. Nonprofit organizations and advocacy groups play a crucial role in supporting human trafficking victims in Miami-Dade. They offer services such as legal assistance, shelter, medical care, and counseling to survivors. Organizations like Christie House and Miami Rescue Mission provide vital support, working closely with law enforcement to help victims rebuild their lives. Public awareness and education are key strategies in combating human trafficking. Miami-Dade promotes campaigns that 
educate the public on recognizing signs of trafficking and reporting suspicious activity. Training programs are also offered to hotel staff, transportation workers, and others in industries that traffickers may exploit. These efforts aim to reduce the prevalence of human trafficking by equipping people with the knowledge to spot it. The case of Maria Duarte sheds light on the alarming reality of human trafficking in Miami-Dade, a region already grappling with this crime. While legal proceedings continue, her case serves as a reminder of the ongoing fight against human trafficking. The combined efforts of law enforcement, nonprofit organizations, and advocacy groups are making strides, but much work remains to be done in eradicating this crime in all its forms. Outro. Thank you for watching this episode of Crime Chronicles. If you enjoyed the journey into today's case, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Got a case you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.